Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the rules of logarithms. And before we do, we do that, let's go back to see where logarithms came from in the first place, logarithmic functions. Remember that we started out with the exponential function y is equal to a to the x power. Now if we change that, if we interchange the y and the x, if we interchange the dependent and the independent variable, we get x equals a to the y. And how do we write that in the form of y equals some function of x? Well, it turns out that this is really the same as y equals the log of x. And of course, we need to indicate the base. And the base here is the same as the base of the exponential right here, y. So that these are synonymous to one another. So when we reverse the y and the x in exponential function, we get the logarithmic function. So basically, a logarithmic function is an exponential function with the x and the y interchanged. Now, what we can say here is that the log to the base a of x is equal to y because a to the y equals x. Because coming back over here, a to the y is equal to x, and we can also say that y is equal to the logarithmic function of x. And so we have to keep this in mind, that we can relate the logarithm, logarithmic function to some exponential relationship between a and y. Now, to understand this a little bit better, let's go back here and let's say that the base is equal to 10, which is the common logarithmic function. So now we can write, if the base is equal to 10, then y is equal to the log base 10 of x. So then when we go back over here, where we have x is equal to a to the y power, which is in its essence another way of writing the logarithmic function, now we place 10 instead of a, so we have x equals 10 to the y. So what is y equal to? when x is equal to 1. Well, when x is equal to 1, what exponent do we need so that when we raise 10 to the y power, we get 1? Of course, the answer to that is y must be equal to 0, because 10 to the 0 power gives me 1. What if x is equal to 10? Well, 10 to what power gives me 10? And then, of course, you say, well, y has to be equal to 1, because 10 to the first power equals 10. What if x is to 100, equal to 100? Well, then y must be equal to 2 because 10 to the second power equals 100. And what if x is equal to 1,000? Well, 10 to what power gives me 1,000? Well, 10 to the third power gives me 1,000, so I know y is equal to 3. What if the base is equal to 2? So here we have a is equal to 2, so we have y equals log base 2 of x. So what is y equal to when x equals 1? Well. 2 to what power gives me 1? Well, y needs to be 0. So just like with base 10, when, ba when we have base 2, y will still be equal to 0 when x equals to 1 because the exponent needs to be 0 to get a 1. Okay, when x equals to 2, what must y be equal to? Well, 2 to the first power gives me 2, so therefore y is equal to 1. What if x is equal to 4? What exponent will give you 4? Well, 2 to the second power will give me 4, so therefore y is equal to 2. And finally, what if x is equal to 8? Well, when y is equal to 3, then 2 to the third power gives me 8, so therefore y is equal to 3. All right, now let's write it like this instead. So again, remember that writing x equals a to the y and writing y equals the log base a of x is exactly the same thing. But now we have it in an exponential form, or I should say logarithmic form. So log to the base 10 of 100, what is y equal to? When I'm looking for y is the exponent, so that 10 to the second power gives me, or 10 to the y power gives me 100. So I'm looking for the base 10. Oh, let me take that back. So I'm looking for a value. So when I plug it in the exponent to the base, I get 100. So I know that y must be equal to 2. And I can say that because 10 to the second power equals 100. Okay, what if... I want to take log base 10 of 10,000. I'm looking for an exponent so that when I raise 10 to the exponent, I get 10,000. And the answer is 4. Why? Because 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000. And here, let's try log to the base 2. What is y equal to when I'm looking for log to the base 2 of 64? Well, I know that y needs to be 6. And the reason why I know that is because the base 2 raised to the sixth power equals 64. So that's how you look at logarithmic functions. So from that, we can draw the general conclusion that the log of base a of x is equal to y 
because a to the y power equals x. Again, these two are synonymous or the same thing. And based upon that, we can come up with some interesting conclusions which become the rules of logarithms. Again, here you can say that log of the base a of 1 is always equal to 0. Why can we say that? Because the base, we can say that because the base a raised to the 0 power equals 1. The log of the base a of a, that is equal to 1. Again, why can I say that? Because I can say that the base a raised to the first power equals a. How about the log of base a of a to the x? What is that equal to? Well, that is equal to x. How do I know that? I can say that because the base a raised to the x power equals a to the x. And finally, a to the log a to the log a of x. What is that equal to? Well, that is actually equal to x. How do I know that? I know that because I can write this as a and instead of log to the base a of x, which I have right here, I can write it like a to the y. So I can say, well, that is equal to a raised to the a to the y power. And of course, a to the y power is equal to x. So I can say, well, that is equal to a to the x, which means that a to the y power, which is equal to the log base a of x, is equal to x. So therefore, I know that I can write this log of base a of a to the x equal to x. And finally, I can say that these are the four main rules of logarithms to explain logarithmic functions. We know, therefore, that if we take the log of 1, we always get 0. If we take the log of a, we always get 1. If we take the log of a to the x, we always get x. And finally, oh, I forgot one more rule. Let me try that here. So if we have a raised to the log of a of x, that is equal to x. We can't forget about that rule. Basically, when we put a logarithm in the exponential as the exponent, then we get back the x that we get from that exponential function. So the four rules, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it's a good thing that we remember that because this comes in very handy. Again, the log of 1 is always 0. The log of a, the base, is always 1. The log of the base to the x power is always x. And the a raised, the base raised to the log of x is always equal to x. And so remember those four rules. And with those, we'll move forward in the understanding of how to deal with logarithmic functions. That's how it's done.